So the ch challenge number second is to change the default text for the is default and responded. By default, the is default is checked against the sent status and responded is checked against the responded status. We want to play around a little bit and have it as shown here. Uh, so that's the expected output. We want the is default to be checked against the registered, uh, the responded uh, against the responded and the declined. As seen from the screen, we can see the responded is ticked against the responded and is default is ticked against the sent. We are going to change these ticks. So in order to achieve that, we are going to make some changes in the already created flow. So as we can see, we have two assignments here, registered and declined. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the declined value from here. So in the loop currently, I just have the registered value against the new status collection variable. So it's going to loop over it. And let's keep here the is default as true. Now let's create a record for has responded. So let's put the value here against the campaign ID uh, from the record. Let's take the campaign campaign ID for the label we're going to manually assign a value here of type to client and let's keep the has responded as true against it now let's connect the loop and the newly created record so after the last item it's going to create this record Let's save it, activate. So now let's test whether our flow is working correctly or not. Let's create a new campaign. Let's put campaign chest five. Maybe of type conference and let's keep the status as planned. Um, Let's put the start date. You can put any stop date and let's save the campaign. So here under the related list of campaign number status, we can actually see the responder has come against the declined member status. It's been kept for the responded member status as well. And for the registered, we have is default checked against it.